the federal government took another step toward easing restrictions on cannabis. The DEA has been asked to reclassify the substance, removing it from the Schedule One drug list. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien explores the change and what it could mean for Tennessee. As much of the rest of the country pushes forward, it's going to get there. We know it. Tennessee continues to lag behind when it comes to cannabis. One of the barriers we've had is the federal, the federal government's scheduling of it. Uh, what I've been hearing around here, around the Capitol, is, hey, it's still on the Schedule One list, so we're scared to touch it right now. But late last week, the Federal Department of Health and Human Services sent a memo to the Drug Enforcement Administration recommending a change in the cannabis schedule. The plant is currently a Schedule One drug, which means it's classified in the same vein as heroin and LSD. It's a little bit of an overstep. I think if you look at the history of marijuana, it is, you know, I don't want somebody out driving heavy equipment or flying an airplane or what have you, but it is nowhere near in the game of, of heroin. You don't see people... Uh, find people in a coma in their car from smoking weed. Bringing the schedule down doesn't legalize cannabis, but it does allow for much further research, interstate commerce, and tax breaks. Though, depending on who you ask, full legalization could be inevitable. We're filling up our jails with these folks. And, um, and honestly, I mean, poor folks wouldn't get the same representation as somebody that I grew up with, possibly. And, uh, I think we've got some bigger problems in this world. Here in Tennessee, Democrats have pushed to open the state up to at least a medical program as support in polls is continuously high. Anytime that you, um, you take a poll and you find out that um, you, you're thinking was different from the people's thought, you know, you, it, it, it will give a hit to your ego sometimes. A concept even some Republicans are on board for. But the movement continues to die year after year. Anything good you need from marijuana, anything good you think can come from marijuana, you can get from hemp. So I'm I'm a hundred percent against any kind of uh, legalization of marijuana. Madison County Republican Representative Chris Todd is referring to Delta Eight and Delta Ten, which are legal in the Volunteer State. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. So you may be wondering what these Delta Eight, Nine, and Ten products actually are and how they compare to cannabis. Delta-9 THC is the compound that attributes to the high feeling when cannabis is consumed. It's the cannabinoid most associated with cannabis, and it's illegal unless the plant is harvested from, or unless the plant it's harvested from has a low level of Delta-9. Delta-8 and Delta-10 THC are essentially less potent cousins of Delta-9 and are legal federally.